why Beyonce and Taylor Swift are making this the summer of the never-ending concert. Blame the boss if Taylor Swift is putting an extra time on her successful era's tour, exactly three and a half hours every show. Paul McCartney claims that Bruce Springsteen is to blame for the current trend of marathon concerts this concert season, which includes performances by everyone from Taylor Swift and Beyonce to the Born to Run rocker himself. During a conversation with Conan O'Brien at New York City's Tribeca Performing Arts Center on Thursday night, McCartney, 80, made light of the New Jersey legend's infamously marathon performances by saying, I blame Bruce Springsteen. I told him as much. It's your fault, I exclaimed. He made it impossible for everyone. During the conversation, which was a part of the Tribeca Festival, McCartney continued. He did. We once worked for 30 minutes. That was sort of a Beatles thing. However, during the Shake It Off Singers epic tour this summer, a half hour would hardly be enough to cover one of the eras, which represent all ten of Swift's studio albums. And Swifties have even resorted to purchasing adult diapers in order to urinate in their seats during the 210-minute show without missing a single minute. Beyoncé, another super diva has been performing on her Renaissance tour in Europe for three hours straight before Bayfist arrives in the United States on July 12th. It's unusual to see pop superstars like Swift and Beyoncé perform for longer than two hours, despite the fact that jam bands like The Grateful Dead, Fish, and Dead and Company have a history of playing extended sets. Due to the skyrocketing cost of tickets, they are undoubtedly eager to provide supporters more for their money. The Cure will play three gigs at Madison Square Garden next week, performing a 30-song mope rock marathon. That's impressive considering that their 64-year-old leader Robert Smith usually appears as if he hardly wanted to get out of bed.